The other moment in the debate, which I don't think was too much of a surprise, they talked about this in previewing the debate yesterday. There was a big question as to who uh, would wear a bigger flag lapel pin. It turned out to be Romney. And uh, not only that, the real question was uh, which one of them was going to wear at least a, a figurative uh, Israeli flag lapel pin because, of course, uh, there's this perception that you can never be too close to Israel when it comes to these debates. And uh, here uh, the, uh, the two candidates are arguing as to who loves Israel more. If we're going to talk about trips that we've taken, you know, when I was a candidate for office, first trip I took was to visit our troops. And when I went to Israel as a candidate, I didn't take donors. I didn't attend fundraisers. I went to Yad Vashem, the, the Holocaust Museum there, to remind myself the, the nature of evil and why our bond with Israel will be unbreakable. And then I went down to the border towns of Starot. Now, you understand there that basically George Bush showed up there for a second, right? I mean, I have no doubt of the political efficacy of the way Obama presented that and of who he was talking to, uh, to a large extent, I think voters in uh, one specific part of Florida. But the nature of evil? I don't know. Which had experienced missiles raining down from Hamas. And I saw families there who showed me where missiles had come down near their children's bedrooms. And I was reminded of, of what that would mean if those were my kids. Which is why, as president, we funded an Iron Dome program to stop those missiles. So that's how I've used my travels when I travel to Israel and when I travel to the region. And the, the central question at this point is going to be who's going to be credible to all parties involved. And they can look at my track record, whether it's Iran sanctions, whether it's dealing with counterterrorism, whether it's supporting democracy, whether it's supporting women's rights, whether it's supporting religious minorities, and they can say that the President of the United States and the United States of America has stood on the right side of history. And there you have it. I mean, uh, Mitt Romney just sat there. I don't, he, he, he was even, uh, that's when they, they, they left the split screen there. Mitt Romney literally and figuratively just went away. He melts away.